Hey guys, it's George from Jono's Minis. Today we are going to be painting some Space Marines, Ultramarines, whichever way you want to call them. I'm going to be showing you step by step on how I paint it, glaze, airbrush, base, and all in the two hours. It's going to be really quick for a above average tabletop standard. Okay, I'll, I'll stop boring you now. We'll start the video, start painting. First, we're going to prime our minis with pure black spray paint, and then we're going to highlight with pure white. What I'm going to be doing is imagining each shape on this space marine as a cylinder. If you were to shine a torch on a cylinder, the light would focus on the face of the shape and then gradually disappear around the sides. That is exactly what we're going to be doing with our highlights and it will look most natural to our viewers. For this space marine with the plasma gun, we are going to be base coating it with pure Mephiston red. Really be careful here not to overspray or overpaint the highlighted and shadowed areas. If you overpaint, all the highlights and the base primer black will be wasted for nothing. You won't be able to get the effect of the shadows and the light correctly. And for this Space Marines base coat, we are using Golden Yellow by Vallejo. Now using ice yellow and going back to the cylinder shape that we spoke about firstly, I'm going to start adding in some more highlights where the light would be really strong. Try and not overdo this step, otherwise the base coat will no longer be a base coat and your highlight would be the new base coat. So be really careful not to overdo this step. You also want to repeat this highlighting stage on your opposite model if you're painting more than one like me. For red I mixed in a bit of white but try not to add too much otherwise it will go slightly pink. You can combat this by adding orange instead of white. For the next part I'm going to be adding OSL. I don't know what it's going to be from but these marines have some glow effect on them and I'm going to be using colour theory to decide what colours I use. I'm not going to bother boring you, but colour theory is basically just an advised way to use colour to make it the most attractive for the human eye. And it's a bunch of different rules and guidelines to follow to get the best results. The one we're going to be using is a triadic colour wheel, which basically means we use three different colours opposite to each other on the colour wheel, and they will always work nice together. On this project I used purple for the yellow mini and deep green for the red. Now I'm highlighting the red space marine with the Mephiston red with a slight bit of white, just for the highlights. I'm going to show you how to correctly thin your paints. So, as you can see, this is just normal paint out the pot. Nothing has been added, no water, no paint thinner, no nothing. And you can see it's very blotchy, it's very thick, it's too heavy. This is not gonna look nice on a mini, so we're not gonna do that. Next one is thinned paint. This is about 60% paint to 40% water. This is your ideal kind of water to paint ratio and you're going to be doing the majority of your painting in your painting career with this level of paint um, consistency. Um, so get used to thinning your paints to a thinned paint consistency. And the final one is glaze. We do this to kind of blend colours together naturally, kind of creating a visual seamless seam. This is about 70% water to 30% paint or 80-20 changes from paint to paint um, and this is to kind of blend colors together so remember thinned paints and glazed paints are good normal paint straight out of the pot bad the reason we're using the glaze after the airbrush is because naturally the airbrush will leave speckly bits of paint unless you use inks which I, I don't have so I'm using acrylic still but you want to glaze over it and what the glaze will do is take away the speckliness it will fill in the gaps almost and it will make it look really smooth um, you want to do this pretty much with your base color 
over everything. Even if it was a red you're going over or purple you're going over, what it will do, it will make it look more realistic. It won't look so aggressive from like the contrast or the switch between the yellow to purple. It will look like it is a bit of a glow or a reflection or something. So just glaze over, do 70-30 water to paint. If that's too much, do a little bit more paint. It changes on the different colours because of the pigment content. But just play around with it. Use the guide here and just keep referencing back. Always reference back and check it on your thumb is a good way to do it. I found when I was watching YouTube, they'd always do it on their thumb, but it was really hard to gauge as a viewer. So even do it on a piece of paper like I have. Put it on your wall, always reference back. Just keep double checking. And it doesn't matter if you do too much one time by accident, it's only paint, you can go again. It will take five minutes. So don't be afraid to go for something. Don't be afraid to try something you haven't already. Every time I paint, I pretty much fail in multiple aspects of that paint job. Like these, these minis aren't perfect, but I learn something every time I paint, and that's the main thing. For example, here we just painted the eyes red, and there's a small mistake, but we can go over it with yellow later. It's not a problem. Edge highlight. Edge highlight, edge highlight. Pretty, you want to pretty much edge highlight everything. That, that's it. I can't stress this enough. So if you want to make it stand out on the table, on a showpiece or whatever it is, um, edge highlight everything. It makes it stand out. It defines the shapes. If you didn't edge highlight, it would look a bit of a colory blur. So if you were to look at a gun that isn't edge highlighted compared to one that is, you'll see a difference night and day. So do it on everything, especially in 40k. Everything's metal and metal shines and reflects. So edge highlight. So after saying edge highlight about a hundred times in editing, um, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna edge highlight everything. I'm gonna be using about a 60-40 red to white paint ratio to edge highlight this Space Marine. And then I'll do the same, but just yellow and white on the other one. Try your best here to be as clean as you can as it will lead to a more realistic and better end result. Now I'm going to be adding battle damage. I was inspired by Jose Da Vinci on this one. Um, it's almost just like small speckles which are stippled on all across the armour and it gives this really interesting almost space atmosphere um, effect on the armour and I really like it. You can choose to do this, you don't have to, but I like the way it turns out, what do you think? Now adding non-oil to any metals that I just want to deepen the shadows in. For the plasma gun, we have painted the coil pure white. We've taped up the mini so we don't ruin all the work we've just done. And I'm going to spray it purple. What we're going to do, we're going to do it for both sides. Completely get full coverage. And then with a brush, mixing in a little bit of white and then create the more intense light from the energy gun in the middle. And then if we feel like it needs more, we can slowly add more and more white, and if we've gone a bit over the top, we can add a bit more purple. And it's just a game of going back and forth until we've got the right amount of energy that we want. Now going on to both minis, finishing off all the leather pouches, the leather straps, the gun holster, anything else that we haven't really focused on and then we're going to start focusing on the base. All I'm doing is ripping up a bit of cork which you can buy from Ikea or any home store and ripping it up into a shape that's going to fit my base. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm super gluing this onto the base and then I'm just going to start pulling it off 
into shapes that I want. I'm going to stick it down to the base and then I'm using AK Interactive Sand Desert Paste. What this is going to do, it's going to break up the flat surfaces on the bottom of the base. And it's going to make it look more realistic. It's going to give it more texture, more dimension, and it's going to be a bit more pleasing to the eye to look at. Let this dry completely, it won't take more than an hour in a normal temperatured house. Once it's fully dry, respray paint it with pure black. What I'm going to do for the first step is dry brush on some dark green. Once that has dry, then I'm going to add some light green. All I'm going to do is super glue on the minis now and the base is completely acceptable to just leave like this but what I'm going to do I'm going to add some rust pigment to make it look a bit more like it's a sandy planet that they've landed on and now they're going to explore it. And finally Anyone who rims the base, any colour but black, you're wrong. Now then, after all our hard work, let's have a look how they turned out. I think every time you paint, you should learn something new. Even if it doesn't come out amazing, you should definitely take a minute and uh, try and learn something new because that's how it's fun as well, isn't it? Big thank you to all my new subscribers. We are killing it. We're nearly at 500 subs in five weeks, which is completely mental. I didn't even expect to get this far in six months. My goal was 1K by the end of 2023. I think we might beat that, so maybe 2K? I don't know, maybe, maybe it's a bit ambitious, but let's aim high and expect whatever comes. Thank you for watching. I really hope this helped. Let me know in my DMs, on my Discord, Instagram, however you like. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.